Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another YouTube video. And today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail tutorial. And the screenshot we're going to be using is Stage B Killing Screenshot. So you can go to your Twitter if you just want to practice or try to make the same thumbnail I made. But what we're going to do is copy these images and bring them into Photoshop by right clicking on the image and then copy image. Go into Photoshop and edit and then paste. And then I'm going to get the next image, which is going to be him greener right here. And I'm going to also paste it into Photoshop. All right, so now that I placed this, the first thing I want to do is cut out this knife layer so you can just bring it down. And now we're going to start cutting it out. We can zoom in, hold control and the plus symbol, or you can zoom in with alt and then doing your mouse zoom in like that. So I'm going to go to the pen tool or you hit P on your keyboard and simply start cutting out this character and I'm just speed through this part. All right, once you get done cutting out the map layer, you want to right click inside and make selection. And I usually put my fiddle radius on one or use zero, but it's up to you guys. I'm gonna put my fiddle radius on one, then layer your copy and see how it looks. And yeah, we can just keep the screenshot. So now we do this, we can make this bigger and just set it to the left like this right here. And once we set this to the left, we can go to blending options. And when we go to blending options, we can add the inner glow, I mean inner shadow, and I you can just copy these settings right here and just mess with it like you want to. And then I add in the glow. And the color I'm gonna be using is like an orange color, or like the color you see on my screen. And be doing linear dodge add and have it like that right there. And then we can add outer glow and do around the same color with linear dodge add like this. Now we do this, we just make the size, the size you wanna do. We can make the screenshot a little bit bigger. Like this right here. Now that we do this. Go to the second screenshot and we can start cutting this stuff out right here. So we want to cut this out. And yeah, I'll be back with you guys when I do this. All right, so now that I'm done cutting out stage, we can just right click, make selection, fit it radius on one, or you could not add a fit it radius, it's up to you. You want to layer your copy and you should have that. Now when you do this, you can just fix it up some. I'm going to cut out in between like right here also. Just get this out of the way really quick. This next thing we do is cut out this dude too and I'll be back with you guys when I also do that. All right, you just want to make selection, favorites on one, do the same thing. Layer your copy and make sure you're on the right layer. Now you do this, you should have something like this, but now we got to do is make this screenshot bigger. And what we can do by doing this, hold control and get all the layers and put this under the mascot and up the size. So when we up the size, it will look something like this right here. And we can just set this to the middle, to the left right here. Now we got it in the right spot. What we can do now is erase this layer because we don't need it and also erase this layer right here and do human saturation for the bottom part you want to get human saturation colorize ultra saturation a lot and try to get it to the color that's like behind the mascot over there oh so you can uh, lower the lightness also when you do this all right so now that you do this you can go to blend options on the first um, screenshot of mascot shooting, and you can open the inner glow and do like that. Put the outer glow out light like this right here, and you can do the inner uh, shadow. And you can just copy what you just did, and also put it on the other screenshot like I'm about to do. Copy, and then paste it on this also. If you want to, you could change the color of this dude so it won't look like that. But the next thing we're gonna do is add a green splash on him and you can get that from my pack. So I'm gonna just go to my files and get this, which is in my pack, and put it right here. All right, so now that we got this right here, I'm gonna add some uh, texture to the background and make it look better. It's like little dots that you see people use, but I use a different one now. So I'm gonna just add this texture and put it to multiply and then load the opacity on it like so and have it like this right here so next thing i'm gonna do is add the 2k20 logo because that is what game he is on we add 2k20 and put this right here above like so now you can do this for like a 2k21 screenshot if you just want to make a thumbnail or make something simple you can do that also we're gonna go to blending options Bevel and boss 
and mess with all this stuff right here. Then we add a stroke, make sure the stroke is white. The side song, add a drop shadow. And you can simply just mess with all this stuff. I do add an inner shadow of this and I put it on black. And just make it overlay, a little like that. Now you can just leave these settings like this. If you want to mess with this some more, you can. So now that we got the 2 get 2 in 1 logo, we can just make it smaller. But still make sure it's above. So the next thing I'm going to do with this thumbnail is um, go get my brushes. And I'm going to put this in the pack right after I do this. I'm just dragging this over like so. And once I drag this over, put like this right here. And basically what I'm going to do is put some words and I'm just going to put the return. Now you can use the any layer styles you want to for this right here. But yeah. I'll be with you guys when I set the brushes up. So I got the layer style I want over here. And basically what I'm going to put right here is I return. And then like I return. And you can put some more text below it. And just add words to it basically. Okay, 20. Once you got something like this, almost done with the thumbnail basically, but since he's a legend, we can just um try to make this better. So another thing I want to do for this character is add like some um lighting and stuff. So I'm gonna go clip him as get my brush and I'm gonna lower the size down and keep it like this. Now I got about the same color on my brush, so I'm gonna just light this up with my um, brush. Here go my settings right here, and do like this. And just try to add like good lighting to it. Uh, you can just lower the opacity if you want, or you can keep it up. I would lower the opacity. And another thing you can do is go to hue and saturation, put this right here, and then go to invert. Not yet. You want to colorize it and then make it light, color as the background or whatever, something like this. And then you want to click on that invert. Once you invert it, you can kind of like dab it up too to make the color show inside of it because that's what it's going to do. So it's colorized, but you can just pick where you want to put it. I'm going to put it on like the edges and stuff and have it like that. All right. So now that you did this right here, that's it for like the um, colors on that. And it's just a simple thumbnail tutorial so I can show you guys some of the stuff you can do. And yeah, one more thing I am gonna add is the legend symbol. So if you guys find that anywhere or need it, I can um, send it to you guys or it should be in my pack, but I'm gonna go open this real quick and I'll be back. All right, so now that I brought my legend um, thing over, I'm gonna just put it behind or either like put it on the floor right here. Hold control and just like go to the edges and do like this right here. I mean, make sure you hold control when you do it like that. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty simple thumbnail that I wanted to show you guys how to do. And if you really want to get advanced with it, you can select pixel, pixels again, go to curves. And there's just another thing I show you guys. Like, it's another way of doing stuff and everything. So, yeah. But again, if this helped you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. But before I do end the video, I'm going to show you guys another trick to do. So you can just merge visible with this stuff right here. And once you merge visible, you can go to Topaz Labs if you do not have it. And you can um, mess with the settings and stuff, details. If you do want to know what I do, I up the strength. Then I add some human saturation to this right here. Then merge down. Now do magic bullet looks and you can copy these settings also if you need to these are the settings I use so yeah and finish one more thing I do add before I'm done with it is I go to camera raw also and I add a few more effects so I'm gonna show you guys that also so camera raw 
and then what I do is I scroll down and go to green and I add like this green effect on here too I don't add a lot of it though and I just mess with this stuff right here also this with the contrast on dehaze and yeah this is all this stuff Oh yeah, that's pretty much it for the thumbnail. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And tell me what you need thumbnail tutorial on this. Peace out.